Yeah, the, the COVID crisis uh, and this pandemic itself uh, was, of course, a surprise to the world and our nation. And clearly, uh, uh, most cities and no one, corporate America, wasn't prepared uh, for such a, a pandemic to close down America in that way. Uh, city leaders uh, stepped up. Uh, they responded. Uh, they started to putting together uh, plans with their staff to be able to get the testing, uh, the supplies, uh, even uh, going out and helping to get uh, residents' uh, services and food and other supplies. Because of what is going on in, in our community, so many um, states opening up so early, um, I think we are seeing an increase in certain states. I think that what uh, city leaders are doing is saying, let's use the science, let's use the health systems, let's use data to make that decision. And clearly each city has a different response to it, but I will tell you city leaders are stepping up. At the same time, there's this loss I called it a, a, a two-way punch here, a loss of revenue and increased expenses because of COVID-19. And we're looking for assistance from uh, our partner, the federal government, to deal with it. So it is still a major concern in, in our nation and with our city leaders. Uh, they are responding, but it is something that um, a lot of leaders are asking for assistance to deal with it. Yeah, you know, the Cities Are Essential campaign is a campaign about um, letting the Senate, the House, and the administration, Congress, uh, know that the essential part of America's structure, uh, the, the, the leaders that are on the front line of dealing with and responding to this pandemic are city leaders. And the essential parts of the services that our mayors and council members provide, the police service, the EMTs, the fire service, you may not think of uh, summer programs as essential, but those are essential. And the fact that we are asking our senators America, the president, to make sure that cities get direct funding of $500 million for local governments for a two-year period. That's what we're fighting for right now, to make sure that that message has gotten out there. And we're not asking uh, for a bailout. I think that's, uh, that narrative has been heard so much in America. What we're saying is, we were there, we responded, we had an impact, we had loss of revenues, we had increased expenses. We need to be able to get money to help America rebound. And that's all it is right now, because we first got to recover, rebound, and then we can get to the stimulus part. We got to get our economy started again, and it's where the rubber meets the road in the cities, towns, and villages in America where we can restart our economy.